There it is. Hi, everybody. I'm Deborah Messing. Thank you for your patience. I am so excited to be here, and I'm thrilled that you are here. No Dem Left Behind is a coalition of Democrats running for Congress in rural America. That part we all know. But the reason why I'm so passionate about the work they're doing is because how they are campaigning. I'm a strong believer that we as Democrats can't just focus on the coastal cities. We need to speak to each and every single American. Anyone could go to San Francisco or New York or LA and bash Trump. But the candidates you will meet tonight, they are going into deep red Trump country and they are talking to people who see Democrats as the enemy. We're living in two Americas right now and we have to fix that. No Dem Left Behind is doing the hard work on the ground to do just that. I am supporting Biden and all Democrats across the country because we're in trouble. We have a pandemic with over 170,000 people lost. We have economic collapse, businesses closing, farms closing, unemployment numbers that are just devastating, but also because of the racism, homophobia, transphobia, and xenophobia. Every marginalized group is under attack. I had the privilege of being on Will and Grace, which helped celebrate the LGBTQ community. And I cannot stay quiet as I see murders and suicides in that community rise. I am so thrilled and honored to introduce Mia Mason, the first transgender vet to ever run for congressional office. She is running in Maryland's first congressional district, the only Republican district in the state. Mia served in the Army, Navy, and DC National Guard for 20 years. She spent 13 years at war in Afghanistan and Iraq, and even aided in relief efforts after Hurricane Katrina. But after 16 years of serving, she was forced out for simply being who she is. She fought for over a year just so she could continue to serve her country. She eventually won that fight and got to retire with dignity. After retiring from military, Mia started a small business, but just couldn't ignore that call to action. She started working with advocacy groups fighting for equal rights for all. She spoke at the Women's March in DC in 2018 and told the world her story. And then in 2019, decided she could make real change happen if she fought for it on the inside. She won an underdog primary with no staff and little resources and is now fighting against one of the most anti-LGBT politicians in the country. Congratulations, Mia, on becoming the first transgender nominee for US Congress. As a military veteran who has served over 20 years, how did you react to Trump's ban on transgender people entering the military? I was completely upset. It was one of the hardest things I had to face in my life. You know, I lost my job, I lost my car, I lost my home back in 2015 before even Trump took office. And I definitely didn't want that to happen to anybody else in the entire country. It was just one of those things that I just couldn't handle. So I called reporters day in and day out and I got on the news and I told people we cannot allow this to happen at all in our country because I knew it was going to affect our families. What are you doing to fight for veterans and the transgender community within your campaign? Well, we are making sure that we still lobby for things like the ERA and f make sure that the military ban gets lifted. If we actually have to wait till November 3rd and for me to get in the office in January, I definitely want to make sure that we get it taken care of in the first 100 days because we are no dim left behind. Thank you so much, Mia, for all you have done to serve our country and all you will do in the future. You are an inspiration. You have all of our support. And now I am kicking it back to Richard Ojeda, our fantastic moderator. Thank you. Oh, 